the implication x implies y is equivalent to this is a multiple choice question and so you solve the question and after that you pick the correct option the statement given to us is x implies y if x implies y then the equivalent statement will be negative y implies negative x if x implies y the equivalent statement is negative y implies negative x when we look through the options we can see that the correct option is a Statement M is, there is no physics student who is not intelligent. Statement N is, every chemistry student studies physics. Using these two statements, which of the following is a valid conclusion? So one of the four options here is a valid conclusion based on these two statements. The question wants us to select that option. Let's read the statements again. The first statement is, there is no physics student who is not intelligent. The second statement is, every chemistry student studies physics. If we look at these two statements, we can see that there are three groups of students. We have intelligent students, physics students, and chemistry students i'll use the letter i to represent intelligent students the letter p to represent physics students and the letter c to represent chemistry students the first statement is there is no physics student who is not intelligent what it means is that if someone is a physics student it means that the person is intelligent. So if someone belongs to P, it implies that the person also belongs to I. If someone studies physics, it implies that the person is intelligent. That is the first statement. The second statement is every chemistry student studies physics. I use C to represent chemistry students and P to represent physics students. Every chemistry student studies physics. So it means that if someone belongs to C, it implies that the person belongs to P. So C implies P. So based on these two statements, we have been able to establish that P implies I and C implies P. If c implies p and p implies i then one valid conclusion we can draw is that c implies i remember that c represents students who study chemistry and i represents students who are intelligent so if c implies i then it means that all chemistry students are intelligent when we look through the options we can see that that conclusion is B. All chemistry students are intelligent. This is the valid conclusion we can draw from these two statements. Consider the statements. Statement P is Peter works hard. Statement K is Peter will pass his examination. Write in symbolic form. Either Peter works hard or he will not pass his examination. This is a multiple choice question. We have four options here. And so you solve the question and after that you pick the correct option. This symbol is read as or and this symbol is read as end. So the first option is P or Q. 
the second option is negative p and q the third one is p and q and the fourth one is p or negative q we have been given two statements the statement p is peter works hard and statement q is peter will pass his examination the question wants us to write either peter works hard or he will not pass his examination in symbolic form the first part of the statement is peter works hard that is given to us as statement p so this is statement p we have all here and as i said here this symbol is read as all so we have p or let's consider the second part of the statement he will not pass his examination statement q is peter will pass his examination the second part of what we have here is he will not pass his examination if q is peter will pass his examination then he will not pass his examination will be the negative of q so he will not pass his examination is the negative of q so it means that in symbolic form either peter works hard or he will not pass his examination will be written as p or the negative of q when we look through the options we can see that the correct option is d p or the negative of q consider the following statement if one works hard one must pass his or her examination which of the following is a valid conclusion from the statement we have four conclusions the first one is john is hard working and so must pass his examination with distinction the second one is yao is not hard working and must fail his examination the third one is kweku did not pass his examination so he did not work hard and the last one is ama is hard working and so her parents must like her the statement given to us is if one works hard one must pass his or her examination when we consider the statement carefully we can see that we have two groups of people the first one is those who work hard and the second one is those who pass their examination let's use w to represent those who work hard and e to represent those who pass their examination the statement is if one works hard one must pass his or her examination which means that if someone belongs to w that is if the person works hard then it implies that the person also belongs to e that is the person will pass his or her examination so if someone works hard it implies that the person will pass his or her examination and so we can say that w implies e if w implies e then the valid conclusion we can draw from this statement is that the negative of e implies the negative of w if w implies e the valid conclusion we can draw is that the negative of e implies the negative of w e is the person who will pass his or her examination so the negative of e is the person who will not pass his or her examination w is someone who works hard so the negative of w is someone who does not work hard 
And so the statement, the negative of E implies the negative of W means that if someone does not pass his or her examination, it implies that the person did not work hard. If someone does not pass his or her examination, it implies that the person did not work hard. When we look through the four options given to us, the option that describes this conclusion is C. Kweku did not pass his examination. It means that Kweku belongs to the negative of E. He did not pass his examination. And so he did not work hard. It implies that Kweku also belongs to the negative of W because the negative of W is those who did not work hard. And we have seen that if someone does not pass his or her examination, it implies that the person did not work hard. And so Kweku did not pass his examination, so he did not work hard. This is the valid conclusion we can draw from the statement that was given to us. So the correct option is option C. Kweku did not pass his examination, so he did not work hard.